bright lights of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as you're watching ACC Network Extra and tonight's non-conference game between the VMI Cadets and the Pitt Panthers. Panthers huddling up, looking for a second win of the Jeff Capel era, while the Cadets won their first game against Washington College, also at home. Welcome inside the Peterson Event Center. Jeff Hathorne and Chevy Troutman, three freshmen started for the Panthers in their opening win, two of whom, Xavier Johnson and Trey McGowan's were impressive. Yeah, I like these two freshmen. They they bring a lot of confidence and energy you normally don't see in, in freshmen. They both attack the lanes. They they drop in passes, drawing the defense, dropping passes. You see right here the Euro step in the in the finish. These guys aren't afraid to take it to the cup. Trey McGowan's also can finish at the rim. 17 points for McGowan's on 6 of 11 shooting. Also had five rebounds, five for Johnson as well, six assists and 16 points. As we get set for tip, it is game two of the season. The Panthers and Kedets, Kenny Chukwuka will go against Tyler Kramer and the ball tipped back and controlled by VMI. VMI starting five and Greg Parham is the guy you want to watch along with Bubba Parham. No relation, but two guys that will lead this Kedets team, especially Bubba. Panthers in man-to-man. -man. You see the extended pressure again, Chevy, from this pit team. Yeah, they're bringing a lot of energy right now. They're, they're coming off a win, and they're, they're going to try to continue what they started last game. Now we see Parham finishing what he started in his first game of the season. They said that they said that he can he can fill it up. So we're going to be watching him closely see if he has a good game. 23 points in his first game. His preseason All Conference in the Southern Conference. You saw McGowan's think about that three. You see a little zone here from VMI, driving the lane and fouled. Yeah. Malik Ellison will go to the line. Foul on 15, Miles Lewis. We haven't seen the Panthers play against uh, a zone defense, so we're, we're going to see what they got for him tonight. I'd imagine for Jeff Cable, he wants to see a little bit of everything. You know, get yourself ready for conference play. You see as yeah. many different styles as you can. Yeah, the more looks, I mean, uh, the more experience these, these young guys are going to have. See Jeff Capel in just his second game with the Panthers. 163 career wins with VCU and Oklahoma. The Panthers with a little bit of press. And two all, and you see Greg Parham able to break through and get it out to Bubba. Good ball reversal and back out with 11 on the shot clock now. Kramer down low, work, working against Chukwuk and just powers in the lefty, no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Tony. And near walk there, but able to control his McGowan's. I was surprised to see the big guy, you know, make a power move like that. You don't see it that much nowadays. Tony in the lane, no good. Rebound to Lewis. Here come the key debts. And here it goes. Kramer driving the lane, misses. The rebound tipped and controlled by Tony. So a couple of opportunities, point blank there for Kramer, unable to finish. Yeah, he had a bad angle, so it was, it was hard to put it off the glass. That's where he was going with that. Johnson's going to drive, kick. Floater goes down by Tony. That's what I call being in the right place at the right time. 4-2 Panthers, first lead of the game. Both teams 1-0. Again, Kramer, good position, unable to handle. Greg Parham, three. No good, rebound, out of bounds, pit basketball. Look at this drive, Chevy. Good. Good hands there by Tony to be able to muscle that through. Yeah, he was, like I said, he was in the right place at the right time. Xavier took a, a, a wide open a drive that they've been giving to him the last two games, and he made a good play. High arcing three, no good by McGowan's. 
Arm's going to drive, ball knocked away, but he's able to control. Lewis, again, the ball knocked away, and we've got the first foul on the Panthers. See the Panthers not afraid to, to play scrappy today. That's on McGowan's, and for the first time this season, Jared Wilson frame. Missed the first game, suspended for game one. You see Wilson frame, and I think there's an advantage to the Panthers being able to get through game one without one of your leaders. Yeah, he's a he's a big contributor, and he's he's a, he's one of their, their go-to guys, and he's going to be looking to get, get it going in the, right now. Wilson frame, he's Ellie Goma, and also Cameron Davis, a three from Framer. Um, no good. <laughs> he's going to hear that tomorrow. Wilson frame three, good. in frame and a five point lead for the Panthers. It's a little bit more of a token press. Once it's inbound, they'll back off a little bit. Yeah, they're trying to waste some, some time on the clock. So so when they're getting into trying to run their play, they're, they're not going to be able to execute it with uh, less time, obviously. Lake Ellison, the foul. We'll see another substitution. City and Deer for Ellison. So a couple of guys that have picked up fouls quickly find the bench for VMI. Jake Stevens checks in. Gillickson in the lineup right now. Seven-two Panthers. On the ground and a fight for it. Wilson Frame comes out with it. The Panthers are looking really good on defense tonight. Here we go, Panthers. Here we go. So the end here looking back to Jeff Capel for instructions. Over to Wilson Frame. Halfway through. Good look down low. Ellie Goma finishes with the left hand. They don't seem to be intimidated by the don't the zone defense. I think it's a real opportunity for playing time for Ellie Goma. Yeah. They have three three solid bigs, and I'm I'm curious to see who who breaks out and and becomes the main big of the three. Near steal and Lewis misses. And Ellie Goma with the rebound. Wilson frame for a second three hits it again. It's a 10 point lead. He said he couldn't wait for this game. I guess. Yeah. Good look back door. And Lewis hits rim and Wilson Frame standing out of bounds. It will be VMI basketball. It's a 12 2 Panther lead. You see the former Penn Stater, Dan Earl, in his fourth season with VMI, says he loves how hard his kids play and that they've, they're they kind of understanding his system now after a couple of years. And uh, they're picked last in the Southern Conference, but he feels like they can do some things, especially with Parham in their conference. The coach also said that they're not afraid to come out and compete. And under the bright lights, we're watching them and they're they're competing, but you know they're not they're not making any baskets right now, but it's still early in the game. It's an assistant under Ed DeCellis, the former Penn State coach and Pittsburgh area native. A high arcing three by Parham. I don't know how he I don't know how he got that off. Some buildings, that's not coming down. <laughs> It was good defense. 15 12, and Deer. Corner three. No good by Davis and a foul, or excuse me, out of bounds off of Jake Stevens. 
both teams with a number of substitutions so far. Uh, McGowan's Wilson Frame, and Deer, Davis, and Brown for the first time tonight in for the Panthers. Inbounds to Brown and back over to Endear. Panthers will set up. The two Parhams, Lewis, Miller, and Stevens in for VMI. Endear drives and kicks. Good defense by VMI and good hands there by Stevens getting the deflection. Here comes Greg Parham. And Stevens three, no good. And we're going to see VMI take a bunch of threes. Yeah, they have a scrappy style. Gowans misses the runner. Greg Parham drive the lane and kick. Alva Parham guarded by probably Pitt's best defenser and uh, defenseman in Cameron John or Cameron Davis. Yeah, Davis is long. He's athletic. And, and he takes the defense to the offense, so I think I think Davis is, one, is is the best player on defense for the Panthers. Wilson Frame leads all scorers with six, and Bubba Parham with five for VMI. Cross court, looking for a third three. Jared Wilson Frame. <laughs> All right, here's the strategy. Before they play Duke, suspend him <laughs> so he could come out and hit threes against the Blue Devils. He said he's ready, and I, I believe him after this start. McGowan's drives the lane, and an offensive foul. Foul number two on the freshman guard. He kind of got caught a little bit too low under the basket, trying to, trying to go up off the glass. That was good defense by VMI. You know, fans might think you could just stop, but how tough is that when your momentum's no, right there? It all depends on the angle, and when you get the ball. We see Jared Wilson frame hitting that three, and he hasn't hit the rim yet. No, he's, he's getting some clean shots, and those are the spots that he likes to shoot from. 15-5 Panthers. Stevens guarded by Chukwuka. Parham kicks it back out. Stevens, the big man, 6'8", 230, and Wah in double dribbles. Stevens, freshman from Bunker Hill, West Virginia. He's out there taking and being aggressive also for VMI. I wouldn't be surprised if he got it going. There's weaving up top. Malik Ellison back in the game. Xavier, Xavier Johnson. Ellison passes up the shot. Drives Wilson frame. Why not? No good this time. Rebounded by Kenny Chukwuka. And Kenny keeps it alive. Cameron Davis, or excuse me, Malik Ellison passes up the three and drives the lane and scores. That was a strong move by Ellison. Pump fake one dribble. And looking for the foul, but no foul called, and, but he finished. Stevens. Steal by Xavier Johnson. Round behind the back and a foul by Bubba Parham, about all he could do to stop that fast break attempt. The Panthers up 12 here in Pittsburgh. It felt great. I mean, I was, you know, extremely hyped. I had a lot of energy, um, and it was just exciting. I mean, like you said, I haven't played in a year and a half, and, um, you know, it was a rough year last year for me to watch. So just being able to play this year and being able to help and, you know, be a key 
uh, you know, asset to this team. Uh, it's just been very, it's been very great for me, and uh, just being a leader as well, and being able to go out there and produce and lead by example, and you know, to come out with the win. That's the most important thing. Panthers junior Malik Ellison, who sat out last year after transferring from St. John's, 13 points in the opener with six rebounds. He's already got four points here tonight on a couple of free throws and a field goal. Xavier Johnson on the line. And Ellison really provides a, a spark, and I think Jeff Capel really likes what, what he brings to this basketball team. Yeah, he brings a mature sense and an experience. Like, he played he played more than some of these other guys. So just having him out on the floor is, is a, a cushion. Trap broken. It's a set shot three, and the ball tipped, and here comes Johnson. Johnson drives, dunks. Man, that guy has a motor. And again, good trap by the Panthers. Stevens. Bubba Parham misses. Rebound to Tony. Johnson crossover. And it's stopped. Good defense there by Will Miller. Let's go, Pittsburgh. Let's go, Pittsburgh. And here. Chukwuka thought about it. And Chukwuka can make that and travel on Ellison. Yeah, we see, we see him tra uh, not travel, but he likes to pump fake one dribble and take it to the cup. He's coming right at us, Chevy. Man, that guy has a motor. His gas tank is so high. So what's, what kind of octane? Is he like a 98 <laughs> octane? 98. No. The gas that people typically don't buy. <laughs> you gotta have like a really nice car to buy that gas. I'll tell you what, he does. He does bring it. There's a few freshmen on this team. They really do bring it. Stopping and popping from three and short. Chukwuka, the nice box out, and he goes and grabs the rebound. You know, Chukwuka got the start here because of the way he performed in the opening game. What do you like about his game, Chevy? He fights down there. He's the blue co he's the blue collar of old old Pittsburgh basketball. He's he's not afraid to get down and dirty. And he's a scrapper. Driving the baseline and getting fouled is Devon Bond. Foul is on Ellison, his second. Kramer back in for VMI. Davis in for the Panthers. Down deep. Three. Buried by Gillickson. They're going to be one of those teams that's going to shoot a lot of threes. Panthers up 21 to 8. Pitch shooting 58% here early on. And the exception of those threes from Jared Wilson frame, a lot of high quality chances from the floor. For yeah, the Panthers. Yeah, they're they're playing their they're they're playing the game how they want to play. And they're imposing their will, and you can see it in the score. So Tony checks out, Wilson frame checks in. And inbound Wilson Frame is mugged by Bubba Farham. Wilson Frame took exception. VMI. For Parham, that's number two. And if there's one guy for VMI that they can't afford to have in foul trouble, it's him. Really nothing Parham could do. He needed to stop the bucket. Yeah, VMI, they're, they're starting to get scrappy, so they're changing up the way that they're playing. Now they're going to start being aggressive. They might play. They're going to be playing on the borderline of fouling every every possession. Greg Parham for Bubba Parham. Wilson Frame. It's a couple. Jared Wilson Frame with 11 of Pitt's 23 points. He looks so confident out there and comfortable. And when when you feel like that out on the court, like sometimes the game slows down and you can't do no wrong. 
See Shamil Stevenson has checked in. Stevenson had some good minutes in the second half against Youngstown State and has earned him some first half time here. Wide open is Bond and Bond misses. Offensive rebound attempt knocked out of bounds off the Panthers and to VMI. Jared Wilson frame 11 points here in the first half inbounds for VMI 23 to 8. And inbounds taken time and a five second violation for defense Panthers. I see him communicating on the switches. They're always in, in the line of the ball, so it's hard to get it in when you have a, a, a defense playing that hard. Panthers only had a day of work on the floor because of NCAA rules and their tight schedule right now. It yeah. looks like it has done them well. Yeah, I saw after the game, some of the players even went to the gym. Um, they went to get some extra shots up. So, I mean, just seeing that instilled in these players, you can tell that they're, they're, they're thinking clearly. Xavier Johnson with the three. Panthers now a 26 to eight lead. And there's only so much coaches can do. It's on the players too, to take that time themselves, right? Yeah, like the coaches, they sometimes, sometimes they, you have really good coaches. Sometimes you have coaches that gives everything to, to the players and the players have to perform. Let's take a look at this three. We haven't seen a lot of shooting and Jeff Cable told us he, he wanted Johnson, wanted McGowan's to look for their shot a little bit more. Yeah, they're they're the motors and the engine of this team. If they if they're getting it going, putting the pressure on the on the defense, like you, you're only going to get something positive from that. And the officials have ruled that that hit backboard before it hit a Panther, so it will be pit basketball. I never understood, you know, some of those calls because they're when you go back and break them down, it can go either way. How do you feel about replay? Uh, I love it, and <laughs> I love replay, <laughs> and, unless I'm at fault. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. Cameron yeah. Davis, the three. Parham drives, and good mm. clean by Kramer. That actually wasn't a bad shot. Because he drew, he drew the defense and let his big man clean up his miss. Johnson, Wilson, Frame, Tony Davis, and Eligoma, who's got a size battle there with Kramer. And offensive foul as Bond goes down and Peace picks up the foul. Panthers red hot, five of eight from three, including this three from Cameron Davis. It's 29 to 10 Panthers here in Pittsburgh. Welcome back to Pittsburgh Panthers up 29 to 10 and Kenny Chukwuka gained 20 pounds of muscle in the offseason and he's putting it to use Chevy. Yeah I saw him in the weight room earlier today also and it's, it's helping on his defense uh, in, a, in a couple possessions ago he guarded three people just off of raw instincts and effort. See him talking with the coaching staff and Chukwuka in the starting lineup because of that hustle. And he could be that guy. The coaches, the coaches have a promise for him. Coaches love guys that hustle. Harum. A good tip. And a turnover by the Pedettes. And here come the Panthers. Wilson Frame thought about it. And why wouldn't he? He's on fire tonight. Three of four from three, and the miss was dead on, just a bit short. 
You mentioned the defense. And how about the defense the Panthers have played here through? Yeah, um, they're they're playing they're playing really good defense. There you tonight. go. A shot clock violation though on the Panthers, and it will be VMI basketball. But they're holding after really shutting down Youngstown State for a good part of that game. They're closing down the lanes, and in the last game, the Panthers got a lot of drives to the basket. And today they're they're in this this token zone man defense. But they're not giving uh, the, the two freshmen uh, lanes to drive today. I love how they're extending up with their defense. Wilson Frame. Kramer. Gilkinson. He's going to drive lefty, kick it out. Vaughn gets it to Parham. Parham over to Bubba Parham. One on the clock, high Arker. Shot clock violation, so two straight yeah. shot clock violations. Yeah. You, see the, you see the Panthers not afraid to switch. They're hedging high and forcing, forcing VMI to go further and further away from the basket. And this won't be like this all year where they're going to have the size advantage, but you can really see it in this game. The physicality really favors the Panthers. Yeah, you can see it in the tradition. You can see the efforts. This is something that these players probably aren't used to, but they're buying in. Adis Tony from three. Six threes for the Panthers. And a 22-point lead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw that in the background, but <laughs> Trey McGowan's knocked down trying to come into the game. They're even physical amongst themselves. Good steal by Parham. Parham's going to drive the lane and lay it in. So good defense there from the key debts. Mm -hmm. They're playing scrappy. They're, they're bumping up their defense. They're not afraid to play hard and, and uh, even on the verge of fouls. See a four person sub for the Panthers at the next timeout or dead ball. Panthers are keeping their players fresh today. Jared Wilson frame misses and VMI able to get the rebound. Here comes Parham. He's looking, drives, and blocked. Knocked out of bounds. And here comes the substitution. Good defense there as we see Endear, Ellison. And here's what happened on watching the back as McCallum goes down. I think Cable gave him a little, a little, a little push. So you know whomever's cutting that, whether it's a manager or a coach, that, that's going to make it in the video. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's making it in there. Not that you ever had a moment like that. No, I've I had some some pretty wild moments. I was I was sick in a game and they they got me on camera. Oh no. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. We got so, you. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, I don't have to say too much about it. <laughs> Drive and altering the shot by Lewis is the Panthers and here comes Pitt. 32 12 lead. In, into Endear. Fade away lefty is good. Transfer from New Mexico State. Really the Panthers' most experienced player as far as time. Been in the NCAA tournament and driving a foul on the Panthers. That's number six on the team. Let's look at the defense here, Chevy, that Ellison's playing. Wow. He always comes from the weak side. He has good timing. And you see he's getting the ball right with a fingertip. All it, all it takes is a fingernail. Lewis at the line. The sophomore makes the first free throw. That's the first point for Lewis as Chevy Troutman checks in for Tony. What do you think of, what did I say? I said Shamil Stevenson. No, yeah. I, in my mind, I did. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh? <laughs> see, I want to see you in this game. Well, he, remi he, he reminds, he, he can remind you of, of our style hair. back in the day. He's not, he's not nearly as, as good a hair as you had back in the day. His, his frame and style would fit right in back in uh, two, the 2000-2005 era. And Deer. And Stevenson with the basketball. 
Terrell Brown. You know, with Chukwuka playing well and Eli Goma playing well, he's going to have to fight for playing time as Stevenson picks up the foul after he drives and misses. 34 to 14 Panthers. We'll come back and finish the first. ESPN. Stream live events and original ESPN programming with ESPN Plus. For more information, visit ESPNPlus.com. Jared Wilson frame is a plus in the first half. 11 points, the only player in double figures. And what's really impressed you about him so far? Well, the Panthers are, are finding him in the spots where he likes to shoot. And uh, there's nothing better for a player to get shots in places where he likes to shoot from. Jared Wilson framed three of five from three. And all of his field goal attempts have been threes. Also made a couple of free throws. The free throw there is good by Kramer. Kramer, Kramer with seven points and 13 rebounds in the opener. Yeah, he's making an impact for his team. I don't think you're going to rattle the, the military guys. EMI, a very structured school, very time honored tradition. George Marshall, you may remember history of the Marshall Plan, a VMI grad, Nobel Prize winner. Hmm. That was a while ago, huh? That was a little before your time. <laughs> and dear, and before mine, before you say anything. McGowan's three, no good. Ellison gets the offensive rebound. This VMI team is still out here competing. I haven't seen no quit in them yet. Mowens stops to Brown. Brown gets it. Good give and go. Looking for Stevenson, but... Two guys around Stevenson unable to grab, and here comes Parham the other way. Greg Parham. They look like they're still trying to get into the game since they're not out there that much. Parham looking at a double team. Good defense by Endear. Has to throw it over to Bubba Parham. Still time on the shot clock, using the screen, but Terrell Brown in his face. Oh, good look down low. Really pretty pass there by Bubba Parham. You saw the Panthers get a little bit confused in their switching duties. Let's go, Pittsburgh! Panthers, of course, coming Let's off go, a victory. And Chevy, how tough is it to, and how nervous would Jeff Capel be for game two and making sure you keep that energy and consistency? I mean, it's hard. It's hard for... Ooh. Yeah, it's... See the spin and the foul, and Malik Ellison will go to the to the line. And really good play here by the key Dets. Look at what Bubba Parham. No look down low. Yeah, he drew the defenders. He he went off two 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 screens. He got him to switch, and they got a little bit confused and left the man wide open under the basket. Allison misses the free throw, but how tough is it for a young team to have that consistency? I mean, you, with the new coach. You never, after a good win, you never know when your team is going to just break out and win all the games. And then on the other hand, you can, you can have a team where they win one and then lose one, kind of like the Jekyll and Hyde. You never know what you're going to get. Substitutions for the Panthers. We'll reset the lineups here after the inbound. So for VMI, it's Gilkinson, the two Parhams, Arnold and Kramer. Johnson, Wilson, Frame, Tony, Endear, and Chukwuka. Another bucket by Parham. And the lead cut to 15. They might start bringing the ball up the court faster to get some, some more shots to try to get back into this game. Maybe it's a VMI has settled down a little bit. Maybe they had some nerves. Chukwuka looking to drive, has it stripped, and here comes VMI the other way. It's hard Bubba, coming to play in the Peterson event center. Bubba Parham 
kicks it out of three and body on the floor. And let's look at what Parham did here. When you're 5'11", Chevy, you got to do stuff to create room. They move a lot. You know, he has a herky-jerky style. He, he got him leaning to one side and just finished it with the cross. The man fell, and, and he, made, he made a highlight for himself. A sixth foul on VMI. Of course, they're taking Parham out here with two fouls and a minute 29 to go in the first half. They want him to pick up that third if you're Dan Earl. Yeah, get him out the game. Here comes Tony. He's going to drive and lefty up and under. If you're a pit fan, you'd want him out the game. Greg Parham looking back for a play call. He's going to drive on Endear and go back door to Kramer. Good lefty. That was a really nice move for the big guy. Got a minute to go here in the first half. Panthers up 37-22, shooting 57%. BMI just 28. They've kind of crawled a little bit back into this game. Johnson, fadeaway no good, rebound to VMI. And steal by the Panthers. Johnson left, his shot is in. It's, a, it's surprising to see uh, some of these guys with motors that just, that are endless. Good pressure by the Panthers there and a good runner by Greg Parham and a timeout by Jeff Capel. This is about as annoyed as I've seen Capel, at least through his first game and a half as pit head coach. And you see he's giving it to him right now. He looks like he's a little bit upset that they're looking a little bit unfocused. And he wants them to, be, to take more responsibility and being consistent because he's trying to build a, a tradition around here, a new, a new tradition that the Panthers have you know, always been used to. And well, of course, Jeff Capel is known tradition as well. Coming from the Duke coaching staff, 19 All-Americans he's recruited to Duke. 19 McDonald's All-Americans. Yeah, Eight hard. lottery picks. It's hard not to want to go to Duke if you get a letter from them. I remember when I was in, I was in school. I got, I got a couple letters from them, and uh, it was intimidating <laughs> to choose to go there because you know that you have pressure not only on the on the athletic side but on the academic side. Panthers just get it over, avoid the over and back. You'll hear the zoo count it down. Tony to Johnson, Wilson frame deep three finishes. The first half with another three. Jared Wilson frame. That was from deep two. That was deep. Shot clock going out. Jared Wilson frame as the Panthers get it going here to end the first half. 42-24 Panthers at halftime. on ESPN. 12 assists on 14 made field goals for the Panthers. A 42-24 lead. The Panthers and the crowd gets into it, leading VMI and the game going on behind us. Jeff Capel, you wonder what it'll be like to play for Jeff Capel? Well, here's Jeff Capel, mic'd up. Here we go, let's go. Family on three, y'all. One, two, three. Family on the hop. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down the stance, down the stance. Slide and pivot, let's go. Stay low. Stay low, stay low. Leak, you're good. I got your help. He goes back out. Now I'm coming, I'm separating, and I'm right here. Leak, you're good. I got your help. Hey, help, stunt, and now I get back. Okay? That's contesting. We have to be a very good rebounding team. Look around. We're small. This is our team, but we're going to win being small. We're going to win because we're tough and competitive. Right there, push them up, push them up, push them up, push them up. Good. Good job. Good job, all of you. Good job.
job. Good job. New head coach Jeff Cable, you just heard from him there. The Pitt men's basketball team have begun the 2018-19 regular season as they launch the Zoo Era. You can get your season tickets or mini packages today by visiting PittsburghPanthers.com or by calling the Panthers ticket office at 800-643-7488. Tickets still available for a huge event tomorrow as the ACC Coastal Division leading Panthers play. We'll tell you about that as we continue from Pittsburgh. Panthers up 18 at the break. The brand new ESPN app. Now with ESPN Plus. Get more ESPN and download now. Wednesday on ESPN. Welcome back to Pittsburgh here inside the Peterson Event Center. A 42-24 lead for the Panthers over VMI. There's a lot of buzz in this building tonight. But, man, there's a lot of buzz about the football program here at Pittsburgh as well. I know you're hearing it, too. Yeah, I, I, every time I get, a, I get a message talking about coming down to the games, I mean, it's exciting for me. I'm going to be there. Yeah, the, pa the Panthers started slow but really have it going. They're 4-1 and one in ACC play and got it going last Friday night at Virginia. Darren Hall big time against the Cavaliers. And Pitt with a hole up the middle for Darren Hall. And he is off to the races. Darren Hall. He's got the hat trick. His third touchdown tonight. This one for 75 yards. Do we get the W? Yeah! We never won in the ACC! Yeah! We took him to the West End! Yeah! <laughs> we passed by strong! Yeah! Let's get it, baby! Yeah. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go! Saw Quadriolis in there, one of 19 seniors for this Panthers team. Panthers 4-1 in the ACC Coastal. A half game up on Virginia. Of course, they own that tiebreaker. Then Virginia Tech. You see why this is a key game with games with Wake Forest and Miami. So the Panthers can really lock down or at least feel really good about themselves with the win against Virginia Tech. And, of course, it was 66,000 fans at Heinz Field when number five Virginia Tech came in to Pittsburgh way back when Rod Rutherford and Larry Fitzgerald were playing, and it was up to Lusaka Polite and the Panthers' fate in his hands. Rutherford lines him up in an eye. One man outside the formation. Rutherford barks away. Third and goal at the two. And he gives it to Polite, and Polite has stood up, and he gets down to the goal line. And is it in? Is it in? Yeah, it is! Yeah, it is! Yeah. Touchdown, Lusaka Polite, the senior from Woodland Hill. You heard the call from Bill Hillgrove, the upset win for the Panthers, and so many moments Bill Hillgrove has been a part of. His bobblehead comes up on Saturday for his 20,000 at Heinz Field. You get that lovely picture of a man who has meant so much to Pitt Athletics, so many athletes he has called, as it is Pitt Retro Weekend for the Panthers. The uniforms, these uniforms are awesome. Aren't they, Chevy? Wow. I wish, that, I wish we got a play. These are cool, as Pat Nardu and the Panthers will return to Heinz Field for that vital ACC clash tomorrow. The face-off with Virginia Tech. ACC Coastal Division title on the line. Single-game tickets to the home finale are on sale right now at PittsburghPanthers.com. You want to be there. It's going to be a nice day. It's just hours away. I'll be there. ESPN. 
This week on Monday Night Football, two explosive players that can score from anywhere on the field. The New York Giants unleash rookie running back sensation Saquon Barkley. Touchdown! Are you kidding me? Wow! And Odell Beckham Jr. Only way we gonna win this is together. That's it. That's it, man. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. As they battle the 49ers by the bay. Monday Night Football, Giants Niners. Tomorrow at 8.15 on ESPN. All right, welcome back to Pittsburgh. A 42-24 lead for Pitt over VMI. Jeff Hathorne and Chevy Troutman. And really, it's been a lot about Jared Wilson frame here tonight. Yeah, he's stepping into his shots and, and knocking them down. But the team is is finding him in the sweet spot. And it, you look here, I mean, it, it's there for him. Yeah, it's, it's right in rhythm. One, two, up, straight in. He's watching the ball go in before before he even shoots it. And then again here, he's, he sees the, the rim, the, the pass comes, and he's just letting it fly. And then he hits one right before the first half ends. 14 points for Jared Wilson frame leading all scorers. You see the Panthers red hot. 58%, not just from the field goal percentage, but also from three and the bench points. A skunk on VMI as Panthers a big lead and where they tied Youngstown State each with 44 rebounds a plus eight for the Panthers in rebounds so an improvement there from Pitt from game one to game two. Yeah everybody's making an effort and you can see it like they're all they're, they're team rebounding gang rebounding whatever you want to call it but they're down there in the paint banging for the ball. The Panthers go at the same starting lineup Malik Ellison will inbound right in front of us and John Conamites. Those jerseys are nice. I you probably know someone that could get you one. <laughs> I don't know if McGowan's has given up his two, though. No, he has four more years of that. And steal right away by Bubba Parham. He goes back to Greg Parham, who is fouled by Xavier Johnson, his first. Excuse me, a foul is going to be on Tony. VMI's putting the pressure up, to, uh, turning the pressure up tonight. In the they, second half. They came right after, and Greg Parham at the line. Two shots. Hey, Bubba! From Richmond, Virginia. Ah! He averaged nearly 12 minutes a game as a freshman. And look at the hands here. Yeah, lazy pass. You suck! Almost finished what would have been a beauty three-point opportunity there. As Parr misses the free throw. What I like about that last that last effort, even though they fouled, they still came back in and made a defensive effort. They fouled, but they didn't get the end one, so it was okay play for me. Wide open in the corner. Tony, no good. Rebound fought for by Ellison and controlled by Ellison. And Ellison is fouled. And from one five committing a foul to the other five committing a foul. Inbounds for the Panthers. Gowans. Panthers lead. Pretty much been double digits since about three minutes in. Jump shot, no good. Almost called that too soon. Good look. Oh, Xavier to Tony. That was a perfect transition play. They got out on the wings. Tony, he filled the last wing and, and got a wide open layup. Kramer, working against Chukwuka. You, know, you can see the size difference when Kramer hands it off to Bubba Parham and a foul down low. What kind of call was that? that was a foul on the Panthers. And look at this look. Ooh. Pretty feed there, Chevy. That's what you call perfect lane running. So inbounds for VMI. Kramer. Going to work that baseline and drive it, miss the shot. And here comes Jared Wilson frame. Wilson frame did not start the second half. Jeff Capel said he's going to go by the guys that are given the best effort in practice. Yeah, Ellison you. drives and the three point opportunity. Mm. Well, Cable's going to play the guys that are going to get the win. And if you want to win games, that's how you got to roll. 
Nice touch from Ellison. Mm, circles. That was a tough angle. And this is but a lane violation. So it was on Tony, so free throw wouldn't have counted anyhow. Jeff Capel. Pitt's not Wanted firing. Some clarity. Pitt, Pitt's not firing on, on all cylinders, but everybody's out there giving it a contribution tonight. Inbound to Bubba Parham. The Georgia native. Preseason all Southern Conference kicks. Open three, missed. Rebound to Johnson. Let's go, Pitt! Open is Wilson Frame, and he continues. Although that one hit a little bit of rim, <laughs> so he might want to work on his shot. The coach said he could fill the basket out. He's feeling it tonight. It is a tie of a career high with his fifth three. Good look down low. Kramer, hook shot, no good. Mm. That's a lost start in the game. Shuk Wuka's down there battling for this team tonight. Xavier Johnson, three. That's two for two from Johnson from three, and the Panthers really feeling it from downtown tonight. Johnson is just not slowing down tonight. VMI, there's a three from VMI, no good. We expected in this game for them to shoot a ton. They shot 31 in their first game. Actually, the Panthers have more opportunities, more attempts and makes from three than the key, key debts do. They're taking a bit. Foul on Parham, Greg Parham. See Wilson frame again, wide open, Chevy. Wow. Clean shots. Well, and Xavier just kind of takes it off the dribble. It, you feel that that's contagious? You know, when one guy starts hitting that stuff, you want to you wanna get out there and, and try one? No, it's not always the case. But with, with some of these guys, they have enough confidence that they're not afraid if they're going to miss. But... You know, with Johnson, he's out there pushing the envelope, and, and it's going to work for him. He's going to make it work for him. Another three opportunity. This one from McGowan's no good. Rebound to VMI. McGowan's nearly stole. Bubba Parham's going to work on Johnson. And Jared Wilson framed the block. Then Chukwuka the block, but a travel before that block opportunity. And the reaction, the Dikembe reaction from Jared Wilson framed. He just comes from the backside Woo. with the LeBron off the glass. And that was a really nice Good call. It play. was NBA Finals LeBron. Yes. The finger wag is what had me. The rest of his team came and followed him, too, just in case. Let's go, Pittsburgh! Let's go, Pittsburgh! Johnson drives lane, kicks. McGowan's thought three, but a high arcing runner drops. He shot that over the scoreboard. <laughs> Which one? The, or the, or the shot, shot clock. Felt like the scoreboard, though. Right, that's what I meant. Baba Parham stopped. Halfway through the shot clock. Good crossover by Greg Parham, and he drops a pair for VMI. Johnson hesitation dribble and picks up the foul. Xavier Johnson will go to the line, but a warning, don't go into Jared Wilson Frames neighborhood. Von Miller's wanted to build a chicken coop here for months. Facilities said no, of course, but uh, they did let him build a bird cage. So majestic, aren't they? They are. I mean, they're not chickens, but they're sure fun to watch. Don't worry, I snuck one in. Wait, where'd he go? Over there. Chicken farming's a tough business. I don't know how Vaughn does it. So toot toot is kind of like, I should say, toot toot. That's when somebody's just 
feeling good about themselves, usually me. I never had a four-game losing streak in eight oh years. God. Oh, my God. Talk more about yourself. Two, two. Trying to find that wide receiver. The next, I say, Randy Moss. Uh, that should probably be a two, two and some push-ups. I never get any props. Rex. Two, two. Fifteen schools, all on one network. A new place to call home. ACC Network coming in August of 2019. Just months away. Great action like you're seeing tonight. These tremendous Pitt Studios. Brand new. Ability to cover multiple sports at the same time. Doubleheader today. Both broadcast on ACC Network Extra is Johnson makes the free throw. You see Jared Wilson frame. A little rejection to go along with his 17 points. Johnson makes them both. Johnson, here you go with Johnson. Two games, double figures in both games. Yeah, and and tonight he has, he has eight assists, so like he might get a double double tonight. I don't know if the coaches are telling him that, though. Huh. Don't think that's the priority? No, no, no. Three-point opportunity, no good. You don't want to do, do distract your players from playing because then, then stuff can get really ugly out there. Drive by Endear. Stevens up front, I'm going to hand off to Greg Parham. Another three, high arcing three, no good. Rebound to Cameron Davis. Pitt's running away with this one tonight. Yeah, you thought coming in that the matchup was going to favor the Panthers, and the ball knocked away by Bubba Parham off of peace. And it will be VMI basketball. Eleven different Panthers have played. And all but three of them have scored. Everybody's out here showing composure. And they're they're playing for each other, so Audie's on oh and a trip on Jared Wilson frame. That one on Arnold. Connor Arnold, the foul. For VMI. Let's take a look. Good hustle there by McGowan's. And I think there's a foul there, but I don't think anything dirty. What do you think, Chevy? No, that was unintentional. They got their feet tangled up a little bit. They are playing hard tonight. Here, Wilson frame to end here. 58-27, Panthers. End here. He gets in, involved, his first three. That was right in rhythm, Jeff. Panthers 10 of 17 from three. And good move there by Parham. Panthers will play again on Monday against Troy. Block, good block by VMI. Over to Parham, who will try a deep three. No good. Rebound to Cameron Davis. That last shot was a heat check for sure. One of four now from three for the leading scorer for the Keydets. Good ball movement, Wilson frame, no good, but offense rebound to Ellie Goman. Stolen by VMI. Here comes Parham, he's gonna drive and kick. Three point chance, no good, and ice cold are the Kedets from three. Two of 18. And still looking for a field goal here in the second half. Gowans from three, no good. 
And here comes Bubba Parham. The block is made, but after the foul. So that, foul on Endier. That was straight up. I wouldn't have called that foul. It looks like a clean, clean play for me. You can see a good job by Parham there of initiating contact. Yeah, he went straight up. He didn't come over, and he, he, was, he just made a better athletic defensive play. You just don't like it when little guys come in on <laughs> your territory. I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm watching that play in live, and I've seen a, a, a good defensive play from the player. Former player. Massive substitutions here for each team. We have noticed that from Jeff Capel here in the game, too. He'll make a lot of substitutions. You don't see a lot of guys get long stretches of minutes. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to, to keep track of who's, who's uh, contributing the most. But, you know, he's keeping the guys fresh. And, and everybody's getting a chance to play, and everybody's motivated. They're still making efforts together. The McGowans with Johnson. Ellison, Tony, Chukwuka, open, three. Johnson decides to fake the drive. Chukwuka from three. And good hands by Ellison. Ball falls to McGowans, who lays it up and in. It's been a tough night for McGowans. He gets his second hoop, two of eight for four points. He's not getting the, the same looks as he's been getting in the last game. And a foul by McGowan's his third. There you go. And you got a freshman. It's tough at this level. Yeah, especially to be consistent. So inbounds to VMI. Connor Arnold to Bubba Parham to Bond. And Stevens not afraid to fire the three. And that's changed a lot in the game, too. You see the big guys stepping up. Well, everybody doesn't get a chance to shoot the three when they're a big. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes in the game, you just got to pull it. I don't know if that started with Nowitzki or where that really started, but man. Well, Arvita Sabonis, I think. Yeah. Shot clock winding down. Tony from the corner. Adis Tony from three. Tony now in double figures. Down low this time to Stevens. Stevens working against Chukwuka. Bond drives the lane, cut off, kick out. Three, no good. Rebound to Ellison. Speaking of Tony, he's he's close to a double double tonight too. Tony double drives double. and fouled down low. Adis Tony having quite a game with 12 points. Panthers doubling up BMI. The final chapter of the critically acclaimed television event. It's this monumental gathering of people that all share a love of the game of basketball. The College Football Playoff Top 25 Ranking Show, Tuesday at 7 on ESPN. Panthers have been deadly from beyond the three-point arc. Adis Tony hits the three. Jared Wilson frame a three. And not to be outdone, how about Xavier Johnson from three? The thing that I like about these shots is they're all technical. One, one two step right into your shot. It's clean. See Wilson, Frame, and Johnson, 31 points. The rest of the team, 35. Panthers, 11 of 22 from three. And Adis Tony at the line. It's hard to think that there's still 11 minutes on the, on the clock. Give or take a few seconds. Tony with 13 points and seven rebounds. Tony nearly had a double double in his first college game. It went for 12 and nine. I like the work he's doing out here. He's doing it on both ends. 
Jeff Hathorne and Chevy Troutman here inside the Peterson Event Center. As we're bringing you ACC v. Southern Conference action. As Panthers and Kedets, you see Dan Earl, the head coach of VMI, the Penn State grad. He played over in Europe for a little bit and came back and got a job from Ed DeCellis while at Penn State, followed him to Navy, and then took over the VMI job and a foul on Chukwuka on the screen. Chukwuka, yeah, he knew it. A little bit over aggressive on that hedge. And he knows it too. He 20 on the shot clock for VMI. My bad is the easiest word in basketball. <laughs> Bubba kicked to the corner and really having trouble find, finding other scoring than Bubba Parham, who has 10. Ellison drives, floater, no good. But again, Ellison will go to the line. Ellison three for four from the line. Another stat I like in this game, Chevy, 18 assists on 23 field goals. Yeah, it's, hard to, it's hard to be mad at your team when they're putting up numbers like that. Malik Ellison, the transfer from St. John's had to watch all of last season, which you can imagine how frustrating that was. Guy who works hard, scored 419 points while at St. John's, made 35 starts, so it's a guy who's played at a big time Division one level and you can see his first night as a Panther against Youngstown State and he's following that up tonight He knows what this this stage is all about With now eight points and four rebounds Carl Brown and Cameron Davis will check in for Chukwuka and Ellison Just about halfway through the second half Panthers easy over the Kedets. Drive, good left hand from Gillickson. So you're at nine and a half left here in the second half the, the game is pretty much decided but what is it that here that Jeff Capel wants to see Chevy just consistency he doesn't want his, his team to start getting sloppy making ill-advised turnovers like he just wants them to be clean uh, run their plays and, and get out of this game with, with some good with, how, with some good stats how difficult is that to stay focused when you get in a big lead when you get, I mean, it's it's hard. You know, sometimes you get lackadaisical. You're not you're not fully engaged. Maybe you're not touching the ball. You you don't know what's going on. But you know, when you have teams that stay together and stay stay focused, like they'll run away with this. Everybody will feel good, and everybody will feel like they contributed. See the coaching staff with Jeff Capel. And rebound to VMI. Another staff in the country has all former Division I head coaches on the staff and a timeout by the Kedets before the over and back. Good defense there from the Panthers. The trap at full court at 70-35 hit. Go. I switched to Geico and saved hundreds. Winner. That's a win, but it's not the only reason I switched. Geico has licensed agents who I can reach 24-7. Winner, winner. Now that's a win-win. <laughs> You got a project, you need a part. So you go to AutoZone.com. You find the part, you order the part. You choose free next day delivery, and you sleep. The next day, you get the part, and the job gets done. Free next day delivery from AutoZone. Available on up to 100,000 parts. Panthers led by their three starting freshmen, Xavier Johnson, Trey McGowan, and Audis Tony. You saw what they did Tuesday against Youngstown State. 
all in double figures, a near double-double for Tony. And those numbers continuing as you see the freshman. Look at those numbers, Chevy. He's doing the same thing tonight. I mean, he, he's confident and sure of what he's supposed to bring to this team. And he's showing it tonight for sure. Not the only one with a near double-double. Xavier Johnson with 14 points and nine assists. Yeah, his, you can't. You can just see how he he plays. It's it's high octane. He's out there pushing the pace, and he's he's doing it. He knows his role also. Bond up top. He's going to drive, but cut off by Terrell Brown. Going around Brown is Lewis, but misses the shot. Here come the Panthers. the highest screen. Let's go, Pittsburgh. Let's go, 15 on the shot clock. Let's go, Panthers Pittsburgh. doubling up the MI. Wilson frame. Shot clock is dwindling down. Johnson says, I got this. Jump shot hesitation. Grabs rim and that allows Brown to get the rebound, but he misses. Ball knocked out and controlled by the Panthers. That was a tough last second shot. It was a good shot in the sense that he got it up on the rim where his, his big man could offensively rebound. Speaking of the big man, Terrell Brown, and does a nice job of using the rim to protect himself, gathers, scores his first points of the game. Let's see if that gets him going. Brown it there in the middle, alters that shot a bit, and a rebound to Tony. He might have blocked that. There's Tony again. Wilson frame. Good ball movement. Open three. Cam Davis. Cameron Davis with his second three-pointer. And VMI is going to take a timeout. A 40-point lead by the Panthers as Cameron Davis gets into it from the corner. It's been all pit. Make sure the best gift of the season arrives safely. The Cadillac XT5. Current non-GM owners and lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac XT5 from around $399 per month. The SUV family. Panthers leading 75-35. The biggest non-conference win for the Panthers last year was by 19 or excuse me, 21 over McNeese State. We'll see if Panthers can keep up the intensity here, leading by 40 in the second half. And Bubba's going to take a deep three and bury it. I can see why he's all-conference preseason. It's just the look about him. He does not give up. He attacks. It's confident. And he, he doesn't have a green light. He has, I don't know what the infinite light is, but. He, now, Dan Earl said it to us. He just doesn't have a light. There's, there's no, just no light there. No light with that kid. There, there it is. Look at him. He's got a big man coming at him and just buries. He'd be the dude on the playground to be picked last. And, and then you'd be so glad you made that pick. And he does the most. But he, he's also one of those guys that no, I don't think uh, uh, he has a bad shot in his repertoire. Eight, seven, Wilson frame over to Endear. Endear from three, no good. Rebound tipped and controlled by VMI. And if you're the key that's right now, you kind of the same thing. You don't want to get sloppy. You want to build towards your next game. High arcing three, no good. Knocked around. Offensive rebound put back. Jokison. Even though they're down so by so much, they're they're still competing. They're still scrapping, they're still crashing the boards, and still putting pressure on on the Panthers. And they're not going to see a team like this in their league as Wilson Frame scores to make it 77 to 40. Wilson Frame now with 20 points. And 
Ball knocked out. There's Bubba again from three. Gets the roll. A little fist pump. I think he's going to start letting it fly now. Panthers working the ball around and foul down low. Bubba Parham, 16 points. He's coming off 23, 8 of 15 in VMI's opening win over Washington College. Parham also had six rebounds. Now tonight, a couple of assists and 16 points, and he was 8 of 15 in the first game. He's 6 of 15 here tonight. Aligoma with the free throw opportunity. And rattles it home. Speaking of Parham, he's, he's, he's important to his team. So, like, he, he already knows that he has so many shots each game. And he's going to go out there and do what he does while playing in the, uh, in the frame of the offense. Malik Ellison checks in. Jared Wilson frame with 20s. Too shy of a career high. Of course, this is his best point total since moving to the number four. As Peace makes a couple of free throws. And full court pressure by the Panthers. And maybe that's Jeff Capel's way of keeping his guys focused. You know, let's go full. They're still bringing intensity, even this late in the game. Bramer. And looking back door, Bubba guarded by Endear, and that's an air ball. Grabbed by Davis. That was really good defense by him, dear. Shmuel Stevenson in the game. Stevenson looking to get on the board. Davis. Oh, nifty move with the left hand. He, he switched hands <laughs> mid-shot. That is not that. easy. That is, that is uh, a very clever move. <laughs> Runner by Greg Parham. They're not brothers, right? They are not. Okay. What's the chances of that? Slim. Stevenson. Panthers working it around. Davis back to Stevenson. Stevenson's thinking. Steal by VMI. Here comes Bubba, and his lefty shot no good, but a foul on the Panthers. The foul is going to be on Ellison. Look at this ball movement here by the Panthers. And look at this. Oh, so we didn't switch hands. We have a bad angle. That is a tough move. You kind of coming from out under the. The backboard. Well, they set the defense up by swinging all the way from one corner to the other and then back into one corner, all the way back around to the other. So they had the defense moving and shifting, and they just couldn't handle it when they, when they gave up the baseline for Davis's reverse layup. Gowans checks in for Ellison. It might be all we see from Ellison and Wilson frame here tonight. Got to think the benches are going to empty even further for Pitt. A couple misses there for Bubba. I mean, if, if the coaches know that he has a, a career high soon, maybe they would put him back in. But I doubt that the, the coaches are focused on that. Stevenson muscling in for the layup. You see the bench get up and fired up as Stevenson mm. finally gets going. Mm. He's got that Barkley body. Yeah. Looks like a football player to me. And good hands by Peace. Ball still on the floor. McGowan's is going to pick it up. He's going to kick. Peace gets it back and lays it in with the left hand. You saw McGowan's be unselfish. He, he created the space to give it to his big man that ran the floor. He could have easily shot that. That was a nice play to get, it, to get his teammate a bucket. Peace now with a career high six. And a foul down low, and the foul on Eligoma. A career high for Peace, and Pitts up 40. 
Make sure the best gift of the season arrives safely. The Cadillac XT5. Current non-GM owners and lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac XT5 from around $399 per month. The best internet meets the best things to do on the internet. Switch to Fios, the 100% fiber optic network, and get a year of Amazon Prime and an Amazon Echo on us. Already have Prime? We'll cover another year. It's all yours when you sign up for the fastest internet available. Fios gigabit connection, plus TV, plus phone, all with a two-year price guarantee, all for just $79.99 per month with a two-year agreement. Get Fios, the fastest internet in the U.S., 100% fiber optic network, 100% phenomenal. Go to getfios.com today. He's one of the exciting young freshmen here at Pitt, Xavier Johnson. Dunks home there, Chevy, and he put a little bit of everything from his repertoire tonight. Yeah, he's doing, he's filling up the stat line. He's getting rebounds, assists. He has a double-double tonight, points. He, he's doing it all, and he's getting his teammates involved. His first career double-double, and you look at the shooting for the Panthers, and no, that's reason to dance. Yeah. Look at that three-point <laughs> shooting, 50%. Everybody's getting a chance to perform tonight. Johnson with 14 and 10. Adis Tony with 14 and 8 rebounds. Jared Wilson frame 20 points on 6 of 10 shooting. Kramer to the line and makes the first free throw. Kramer with another free throw could be the second key debt in double figures. You know, I, I used to play with uh, some coaches that would, when you got close to a double-double or a triple-double or maybe like a 20, 20 points or 10 rebounds, they'll tell you to give you that extra motivation to crash and give you that extra gas that you don't have at the end of the game to finish. Don't try to shoot up late on Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Stevenson, oh, he thought about the three. He's going to drive the lane instead and lays it up and in. Neil Stevenson with four. Oh, good look down low. And Kramer now with a dozen. That's a broken, broken oh, and a steal play. by Parham. Oh. And a foul and a three-point opportunity. So Dan Earl's team is continuing to battle. They're still playing scrappy. See, see, look at this difficult shot that Greg Parra made with Stevenson on him. Well, this is what you see with a lot of teams that aren't, that don't stay consistent. They lose focus. They don't see where the defenders are, and they give up, they give up uh, turnovers like this. Ball knocked away from Stevenson, but he's able to run it down. Anthony Starzinski in. He's a local kid from Baldwin High School. You might hear the Oakland Zoo behind us if he would happen to score. It's going to be a tough one. Samson George looking for his first points. Good up and under down low. I've been waiting to see him play. play. Good low post move. It's kind, moves. Of, it's kind of small for, for being down there. But... As long as you're on the court, I guess. Flat-footed three, no good. And Endear is going to drive, has it knocked away. Ball on the floor and a foul on Endear. That will allow for a couple of substitutions for VMI. Miller and Arnold check in. It's probably all we'll see of Kramer and Parham for the rest of the game. Yeah, they don't need any more uh, subpar injuries. They've been fighting that, the coach said. So you run into play here for Starzinski? I, I think that he's, he's our, if, if he shoots, that means that he was going to shoot before he came in, but... I mean, they're, they're probably not going to run, run a play for him, but if he gets a wide open shot, he's going to shoot. Bond makes the free throw. And now George looking for his spot on the box. You see Dan Earl still coaching. Down by 37 with a minute 40 to go. Second free throw is good. Stevenson inbounds. You see some pressure here. 
Yeah, they're not going to give up on their, their pressure. Bench points 49 to 5 in favor of Pitt. Of course, a lot of that to Jared Wilson frame. Starzinski, he's ready. He's got hands. And Davis stepped on the inline. Turnover by the Panthers. It's turnover 17 for Pitt, although it doesn't seem like it's been a recurring problem. Just you know, they just had a little a little bit of uh, lack of con concentration and oh. on block by Endier. <laughs> wow, he went up there and got that one. Ooh. I'd say old school. There it is. Left hand. Old school can you know? Inbound. We want them up. One minute in the game. Here, public address announcer Joe DeSteel. One minute left in this one. Good drive by Gillison. So I'm looking at Terrell Brown, and he, there the bench is talking to Starzinski. And a three by Davis. Uh -huh. uh, two shooters. Now Davis in double figures with 11. He was he he went after the last game. He was in the gym shooting threes in that same spot. Eight, seven, and turnover. Here comes Stevenson. Throw it down, big fella. I know he's happy to have that. Maybe just getting these points at this point in the game is going to spark him a little bit. Ten left in this one. And Arnold's three, no good. Rebound to Starzynski. And he was fouled by Sampson George, but no call. Of course, it's his own team. Panthers with an easy win here over VMI and Panthers really had it going as Shamil Stevenson finished your thoughts Chevy on what the Panthers did here tonight well they they just came out with the same the same aggression they they started they started the game with the same aggression same confidence as they did they finished in the last game of course Jared Wilson frame two from a career high 20 points six of ten shooting as Jeff Cable gets his second win so for Chevy Troutman and our outstanding crew, I'm Jeff Hathorne saying so long from Pittsburgh, where the final score is Pitt 94, VMI 55. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app. To watch this game on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.